what's up everybody Naresh here welcoming you back into another video and in today's video we are going to have a look into the Wi-Fi access point now first I need to explain the reason that why would I need it the reason is very simple I have got a mesh network of Wi-Fi's in my house indoors which works great no problem whatsoever but at my back garden I do not have a single bit of Wi-Fi signal at all and in summer most of the time you are in the back garden where you don't have the Wi-Fi signal as well as sometimes you don't have your 4G signal as well or your mobile internet actually to tackle that problem what I've done is basically I researched a little bit and came up with this product which is by TP-Link and it's AC1200. It's an indoor and outdoor access point with fantastic features which I wanted to try it in outdoors first to start with then I might be bringing him into the house as well because it's got the technology of mesh 2 in it. So in this video we're gonna go through each and every section of this product. First I'm going to show you what is included with the package, how you're going to configure it, how you're going to set the app up as well so as the demonstration which will give you an idea that how good this product is actually i hope so i'm going to cover each and everything in this video so let's not waste too much of time and straight away jump into the video part so just before jumping into the unboxing and demonstrating the performance of this tp link ac1200 access point let's have a look into the feature which is offered starting with the mesh technology free centralized management application is also available long range coverage that's what we want as well as a seeming less roaming that's the best feature if you'd like to couple couple of them outdoor or indoor if you want to in your area so you will not see a difference in terms of internet connectivity that if you're shifting from one access point to another access point now within the list here you can see the feature specification as well as the contents which are coming with this whole system but features i don't want it to blubber on it the main feature i like the most about it is the durable weather protection which is the best one as well as a dual mimo technology so the antenna is powerful enough so i'm not going to have a signal strength issue whatsoever for my mobile phone connectivity outdoors when i'm in the garden as my other cameras in the future which are now i'm going to install too now that's a good feature other than that you also have a feature of the facebook authentication and stuff like that if you'd like to utilize that one for your business that would be the free thing i hope i'm not boring you to the death providing all this information let's quickly have a look what is included to see or make this video interesting a bit now to start with package include one installation guide explaining each and everything you wanted to know about the product while installing it couple of leaflets regarding the information on ce and regulations package also include gigabyte passive poe adapter with screws to wall mount and in the front you have a status indicator light and on the top two lane port defining what they can do for you one is the poe which will be going to this access point another will be the lan connection where you'll be connecting your internet now under the base of peo adapter you have a power cord input to detachable and weatherproof antennas power cord for poe module and now in last but not least access point which is pretty sleek and straightforward in terms of its design looks classy too for indoor as well as for outdoors if you want to now port to connect your ethernet is well covered under here simply open it up here is the port it's straight away you can connect which will be coming out of your poe adapter you can install this access point on a pole by using the tie wraps available within the package by simply sliding them under in here or if you would like to install this on the wall connecting plate is available as well which will be just simply sliding inwards like that simple is that now if you'd like to take it out you need to push this lever down and take it out so simple is that first you need to install this wall mounting bracket then slide in your access point in there now installing the antennas is a very easy and straightforward job just simply screw them in that would be all now there are a few things which i was expecting to get with this package like extra bit of 
ethernet cable for the testing this device indoors but they don't include guys doesn't matter i'm gonna build one anyways so that's what i'm gonna do so what we need to do now is going to configure this access point indoors check his indoor performance before going to install it outdoors and check in range as well as the speed performance too so let's go ahead and uh, configure it first to start with by downloading the application from the google play store now the application which we need to download to configure this access point is available for android as well as for ios users i'm on android so i'm going to open up the google play store and search for the application called omada o m a d a t p link amada 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 blah, 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 blah. whatever they say actually guys you see what i'm trying to talk here now click on to the install once the application is installed you might have to create an account with them now obviously we need to create an account which can be done by going into the login and click clicking onto the sign up button. Now go through the application which will ask you how to create your password, but never give them your bank detail or PIN number. Simple is that. Now, once you created account with the TP-Link website or with their application, account and credential are exactly the same. You'll be right on this screen. Now here you need to add your EAP actually, which is called this access point which can be done once it's connected on your network and your mobile phone device is also on the same network you can use this all features by using your computer as well which we're going to touch a little bit later on if possible so now let's power up our access point and uh, connect it with uh, obviously the PEO switch and everything I'm going to show you how I have set it all up so you will get an idea so here we have the basic and startup setup as soon you're going to power up your poe adapter you're going to see a status indicator light on it and the connections are done as well where one wire is coming from my internet switch another wire is going out of this peo adapter to this access point when access point is powered up you're going to when access point is powered up you're going to see the status indicator light on the side of it which has gone green now it's time for us to go into the application and configure it fully now on your mobile phone locate omada applications which we downloaded and installed once open and you're logged in into it you need to go into the access point tab now once your access point is on the network you're going to see it like we can see it right in here okay now we need to configure it by going down into it you need to create a username and a password setup for this one now in here you need to give a name to your network which is 2.4 gigahertz as well as a 5g i'm going to call it back garden and i'm going to give it a password as well now once you give it the password you need to make sure you click on to this copy button which is a 5g so the back garden will be the 2.4 and the back garden dash 5.0 will be the 5g network once you confirmed all the details and information you provided it will apply all these things to your access point once it's completed it's good to go and ready to start for us click continue there you go it's all configured and set up now now it is fully configured and set up it's going to show you all the details about your device right in here you would like to locate it reboot it here is also going to show you how many clients are connected and how many clients are blocked so you can do this all it's up and running let's connect to it by using our mobile phone now all right let me go down in my network settings now in here you can see back garden and back garden 5g let's first connect to the back garden one it's always good to do an internet speed test which is very easy and straightforward we're using this internet speed test application available for android as well as for ios users now this is for 2.4 gigahertz network and the speed is fantastic if i'm comparing with the one which i have got in the home actually now the internet download and upload speeds which we have seen are for our access point where download speed is 98.6 and upload is 35. now let's check out the other network which is a 5g network actually on it 
Now in here we can clearly see the differences between the download speed where my download speed on 5G network is gone up to 323 megabits per second and upload which is 34.9 here i have successfully installed this access point outdoors let's go ahead with the performance test where we will be checking the internet speed which is coming out of this access point at the same time signal strength as well which is very important they claim up to about 300 meters outdoors indoors is not that great i'll tell you now but outdoors i think it will be much better now for the speed test i'll be using the speed uh, internet speed test obviously the standard one which everybody uses it link is available in the video description for that and for the wi-fi strength i'll be using wi-fi signal strength an application which is available on google play store so first thing let me make sure you that we are connected with our access point which is a back garden 5g i'm standing one corner of the house and access point is just round in there which will give you an idea and let's go for the speed test right in here that's not bad at all actually upload as well as the download well that's not bad at all the upload as well as the download speed is comparable with what we had inside the house now let's go ahead and check the wi-fi signal strength by using the application which i mentioned before wi-fi strength signal meter okay there you go voila there we go straight away you can see that all right it's about 99 percent signal strength and you can check the upload as well as the download speed right in here as well now i'm gonna walk around the house actually so let me go to the you know let's let's walk around and we can see that on your screen that what is the wi-fi strength actually still 98 99 because we are coming from that area now let me go to let me go this side actually better that way so okay 99 okay 75 77 40 46 okay so i would be around uh, around that corner that's 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 my house right in the corner you can see that and signal strength is about 48 not bad at all all right now what we're gonna do is basically do a speed test right in here let's go for it let's see what we get mm. well still we are getting about 60 67 68 around 70 on download and uh, about 13 on uh, upload well not bad actually that's not bad at all now i would always recommend to use a direct ethernet connection from your router to your poe injector rather than using the power line adapters let me show you why at this moment of time i have connected power line adapter and let's do the internet speed test you will see the direct effect on the download speed whereas i am actually just i think about four meter away from the access point so you can see the download speed is affected big time
before we were getting about 300 megabits per second now we are only getting 43.4 that's really bad whereas the upload speed is still the same is even better actually i would say let's have a look the wi-fi signal strength which is still the same all right i'm a little bit away from the router about uh, one two three four five six seven eight and take like about 20 meter away from it but still we are getting the strength is very good actually not bad at all well, it's time for the conclusion. I hope I have covered each and everything you wanted to know about this access point. If I forgot anything, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, why not hit the like button and click on to the subscribe as well. Because here on my channel, I'm going to bring you some fantastic piece of kits which you can use daily basic actually. Like a typical user, not a high techy guy actually with all the CCTV cameras looking at him kind of. All right. So if that is something you are looking into, click on to the subscribe button. So for the motivate guys, shall see you soon into another video. Bye for now.